So I made a 3D game in 24 hours. Nope, you have not been clickbaited, I did actually do that. And here it is. It's basically a game where you're a cube and you have to avoid obstacles in order to pass a level. Kind of like Rolling Sky, but instead of a sphere, you have a cube. If you guys know me, which I'm sure probably um, many of you do, um, you would know that I love programming a lot. And um, however, most of the stuff I do every day is actually written in Python, um, but this game is written in Unity, which means it's written in C Sharp, a different language, completely different language. So how did I even learn that language so quickly? Well, all thanks to Brackies, my bro Brack. So he's actually an amazing YouTuber, he has like 1 million subs, and he's amazing, um, he does loads of tutorials on like loads of programming stuff. I followed his C-sharp tutorial as well as his Unity tutorial, and I learned a lot about the C-sharp language as well as how to start making a game. So just bear that in mind, so all thanks to Brackies um, for making this possible. Now let's take a look at the whole game from start to finish. Start, um, there's obviously a main menu, and any game has a main menu, it just says Welcome to Cubnificent, the name of the game. And then if you hover over the start button, it turns grey, and if you click it, um, the game just starts. Level 1, very simple, like literally you don't even have to move, barely have to move. Whoever doesn't complete this level is just like a bit bad at computer games, I guess. And then level complete, level 2, just a bit harder, you still barely have to move. Um, actually, you do have to move a bit, but yeah. Um, so after you've done, um, there's like a nice animation and a level complete um, pops up. Level 3, um, like this is like the medium level, it's like a bit hard, I just um, deliberately crashed into a cube just to like let you guys know what happens. I'll do it again. Um, so yeah, you see the, the gameplay just stops and it resets you. Um, same thing happens if you just fall down, um, it just like resets you to the original um, level, like not the level 1, but like level 3, whichever level you're on just resets you. And then uh, after you're done, um, like level complete. Um, again, level four. This is just um like a, like quite hard level four. I'd say it's like the hard level, and and then like I just crashed into a cube. There you see. Um, um there you go. Um, and then yeah. So I just have to restart. Yeah. So because I'm using the physics um element in Unity, you can actually see the cube like just rolling on, and it's just um like completely like nuts. Um, and then yeah. Hopefully, I'm gonna pass it this time. Not sure if I can. Um, but we'll see. Um, no, I just crashed into another cube. But. Yeah, um, I'm probably gonna do it, pass it this time. Level four, I, it's, it's still possible. Um, it's still like impossible. Um, for me, I guess. So yeah, there you go. Level complete. Um, level five. It's just this level is just I deli I deliberately made it so that it's literally not possible to pass. Like um, because it's just I don't want people to complete my game, so I just don't. I just made the level that's literally impossible. Um, so yeah, I don't think I, I I don't think I've ever actually passed this level before. Um, it's just not scientifically possible. I've um like tried it many times, and the cubes are like way too close together, and it's just not and it's just not possible. There you go. I just crashed into another cube. I almost completed it, but it's just not possible. Therefore, I added a flying mechanic where I can actually like by clicking the space button, I can fly. That's not supposed to be happening for like. Um, other people, but yeah, for me. Um, so yeah, thanks for playing. Made by Simushi YouTube. Make sure you go and subscribe to the channel right now. Don't know who that is, but do it anyway. Um, quit if you hover the button. Uh, um, hover over the button. It's grey. Um, and if you click it, it won't actually quit because Unity doesn't let you do that. But if but um, if it were an actual application, it would quit. So yeah, that's the whole game. Hope you enjoyed it. So now I'm actually going to show you how this game is made. Obviously, mo most games you have you, you have seen people like writing lines of codes and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to show you this right now. Um, so I have um a few codes like nine, I think nine um programs. And the first one is n trigger. Basically, I have an endpoint in a game. Um, so when it, when you hit it, it says level complete, and th that's the code. Um, it's pretty simple. Game manager dot complete um level, and that's like a function I made in another um program. Um, out of the nine, can't remember which one, but yeah, it's probably in the game manager, which you'll see right now. Um, so game and um, scene management because game manager is supposed to manage scenes. Um, and yeah, so um, like uh, so game object um, complete level UI. Um, so I basically what this does is basically just restarts. Um, when the player hits a cube or um, um like obstacle, just restarts the game. Um, follow player. This is like um, the, I um, I public the transform um, of the player, and therefore I, the position of the player um, equals to camera position and um, plus offset. So that basically makes the camera follow the player. And then next, um, we have um, credits, which is simple enough. And then level complete. Basically, this just um like makes um loads the next level. Um, so build index plus one. Um, yeah, still pretty simple. Um, yeah, Unity is actually pretty easy when it comes to that. Um, and then like next. Um, so this is the menu. Um, this is basically um, like start game function um, at the very start. Um, again, building decks plus one, so basically just loads um, the first level. And then um, play collision. Uh, so this is uh, basically like if collision dot um, collider dot tag equals obstacle, which is basically saying if you hit an obstacle, basically just like end game. Um, I've created that function before. 
Um, and then play a movement, this is like the movement, so D um, and A for left and right movement, and then space, which is the jump, I created that, but um, obviously I'm going to delete it if I were to actually like publish this game or something. Um, but yeah, so score, um, the last um, um, program, um, script, um, and then so basically just recalls the um, play.position.z um, to string 0, so basically just creates them, like, uh, records the meters, how many meters the player has traveled. Now that I've showed you the scripts, I'm going to show you like the assets and everything else. Um, so yeah, there's the script, um, and then if I go to assets, you can see the and there's like five folders and the slippery, which is basically just to make the ground slippery in order that the cube doesn't like um, go nuts. Um, so yeah, first up, the animation, basically the animation where the um the level complete animation just like fades out and it looks nice. Ground um like materials basically just uh, change the colors and stuff. Um, and then prefabs, I basically prefabbed everything so it's easier to uh, like make new levels, just dragging things in. And then um like basically the scenes, seven scenes, credits, um, menu and then like the five levels. Um so yeah, like you can just go into the um all of the levels. And then the scripts I've just showed you, um and then like I don't even care what it is. Um but yeah, there you go. So that's basically everything in the game. Like if I go to like level three, for example, you can see all of the stuff in there. Like um light player, like ground, like event system. Well, there you go, that's my first game in Unity, and I definitely, I can assure you, it's not going to be the last one. Um, so I've, I'm, I've made games before using Python, I'm playing, like, simply Python, um, just by, like, writing code. Um, but then I realised it's so much quicker and better to just use Unity and stuff. And, um, yeah, so if you like the video, make sure you drop, um, a like down below in comments, um, to tell me what I should do next. If you like the video, um, subscribe as well, and, um, make sure you just comment saying you want more of these kind of videos, and I make sure, um, I'll do some more in the future. In fact, if I have the time, I might even do some live streams, like for example, like creating a game in one hour. Basically, I just stream for one hour and just see what, who, where I get. But apart from that, I love every single one of you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.